I know, I know, a second video, oh my goodness, but I can't believe I forgot to tell you about this. So, okay, I'll tell you in a second. First of all, I've got a capsule of vanilla eclair. So I figured out, since I printed out the caffeine contents of the various capsules, let me show you. Okay, so what I figured out, let's see, vanilla eclair, 62. Okay, this is what I figured out. <clears throat> I used to have two cups of regular coffee in the morning. And regular cup is usually between 150 and 200 milligrams of caffeine. Well, now I'm having these little espresso capsules that are in general around 60 to 80 milligrams. So this morning I already had um, a Scoro, which was 73. I had a Napoli, 109. But okay, so like that's almost 200, right? So if I have this one now, I'm not gonna have too much caffeine going. So I thought, ooh, I get to have because I would really like a third cup this morning. But one of the big reasons that I got on here again is that I completely forgot to show you what I'm doing. Okay, let me get this going here and I'll show you. There's the coffee brewing. Now you probably saw this in the background in my first video. Okay. Good, good, good. Ta-da, look at all this. These are capsules that I've cleaned out and then I've crushed them. I've seen online that people have made like mosaic kind of things out of these. So here, let me walk around to the other side because what I did is I washed them all and now they're all sitting here drying. So I've got my um, Virtuo capsules, and then I've got my original line ones. Now on the original line ones, okay, let me just go back around here and I'll show you all the junk on my counter. <laughs> um, what I, I've got all these instruments here And the reason I do is because inside there's a little plastic lining. So I'm having to, it's, it's a little difficult to get it out, but I'm having to remove that plastic lining in there. So I'm using all sorts of gadgets. Whoops. I'm using all sorts of gadgets to pull it out. It's kind of, it looks gross, but that's because, because it's, it's got, you know, coffee staining on it. So it looks kind of a gross color, but I'm kind of excited. Uh, of course, I don't know what I'm going to make yet, but I forgot to show you that before. So isn't that kind of fun? And those of you who know me or who have looked at my, um, yeah, I have another Facebook page, Be Yourself Unique Creations, um, and which shows some of the things I used to make. Uh, I say used to for this reason now. Let me preface this by saying, okay, some people said, oh, do you need more capsules? No, I intend to drink all of the capsules that I'm going to actually use in this. Um, here's the reason why. Back in oh, 2009, 10, 11, um, about that period of time, I used to make a lot of art. I would repurpose a lot of items. 
And I'll show you, I'll give you a for instance here, so because I still have some of them. Okay, now this is the room that I'm cleaning up, so don't judge me, it's in the middle of being cleaned. I would get wine corks and I would not cut them. I would find ways to fit them into frames. Let's see, do I have some more here? Um, no, I don't see any more right here. And I also, for a while, was into drilling glass. So I would make earring holders out of wine bottles. And, oh, this is a cute one. I used to live in this town in uh, Alabama that was dry, but they, it was um, a German town. So they'd have an Oktoberfest every year, but it would be dry. <laughs> so I saved one of the bottles and drilled it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I don't know if I have any. Anyway, I've got a lot of other things um, that I used to make. Uh, I thought I saw something around here. Well, I've been trying to put things away is the point. So it's good that I don't see other things sitting around because uh, that means I've put them away. Um, of course, the problem with putting things away, isn't it, that then you go, oh no, where is this? Or do I even still own it? Well, anyway, so I'm telling you about the reason that I don't want people to send me their used coffee capsules. Mmm, yummy. I put a little salted caramel syrup into the oat milk that I've got in my vanilla eclair espresso here. So, I had all these wine corks, most of which I used to collect from restaurants, or I'd buy them sometimes from places that had bunches of them that were selling them real cheap. I had thousands and thousands of wine corks because I really enjoyed making those wine cork things. I made birdhouses and bulletin board things and just, you know, all kinds of stuff. I really enjoyed fitting them in. It was almost like doing a uh, jigsaw puzzle, you know, where you've got to get things to fit in exactly the right place. Well, in April 2011, a tornado came through town. And next to my house was a 150-year-old oak tree. I mean, it was it had a huge, huge diameter. Well, the tornado when it got to my house, and I was in the house, it lifted up into the sky, but not so tall that it, before it took the top of that oak tree, and anyway, it knocked the whole oak tree over onto my house and destroyed, uh, well, seriously wrecked up quite a bit of the house. I'll show you, I have a few pictures of it. Well, I think I do. I mean, they should be in this bedroom. Let's see if they are. Oh my goodness. Oh, where are they? Well, see, again, this is one of those things with, with putting things away. Where would I have put them? Oh, dearie me. Well, you know what? I can show you another time promise. I will. Anyhow, so as I was saying, the tornado grabbed a hold of the top of that tree. It made the entire tree crash into the front part of my house, and it did enough damage that I had to be out of the house for six months while it was being repaired and, you know, kind of rebuilt. Actually, it turned out to be a good thing because uh, for insurance purposes, they had to bring everything up to code because the house was from the 1950s and only had like the single wire electricity and it needed the double wire or whatever. Anyhow, so it benefited me, although scared me to death when the tree hit the house because it did not immediately fall through. 
I heard, I'll tell you about it. So I heard this sound that sounded like a boom of thunder, except it kept going. Oops, <sighs> got a runny nose here. It's, it's allergy season here. Okay, it's always allergy season here, it seems like in South Georgia. Anyway, so I'm hearing this tremendous boom that's going on, and I was in a closet in the center of my house, and then I hear this big womp, and I hear, in exactly this kind of time period, cracking, cracking, cracking. So however long that took when I just said cracking three times, I was sitting there not knowing I knew that a tree or something had hit the house, but I didn't know where. And I didn't know if that was going to come through on me or where. Well, thank heavens, it came through maybe 15 or 20 feet away in a different part of the house. And I knew that it was over because there was silence and I felt a gust of wind go through the house. And I went out and there's my living room is filled with treetop and the entire tree had come down. Well, thank God me and my dogs were okay. But anyway, my craft area, the whole reason I'm telling you this, was in my living room. Well, those, all those wine corks were just full of debris and, in, you know, fiberglass insulation and who knows how many years of dust <laughs> that were up in that attic and, and squirrel leavings and who knows what, you know, collects in an attic. So I couldn't use them anymore. So basically that put an end to my craft business. So consequently, I have decided that if I do anything like that again, one, it's not gonna be a business because then I tend to get driven to make more things, but two, I'm gonna use stuff that I generate myself. So, um, this is just, this is from just one recycle bag of coffee. I've drunk lots and lots more coffee than that <laughs> over the, oh, what, two or three years that I've been drinking Nespresso. But I just now started doing this with the capsules and I will create my own by drinking and by saving them in the little, you know, when you eject the capsule, it goes down into the little holder and, and I'll empty them and wash them out. And maybe I'll find a, an easier way that I can get these clean on the inside, you know, an easier way to remove that plastic stuff on the inside because I don't want to leave any little bit of coffee grounds in there where it might start to get moldy later. I don't want to make a work of art that turns moldy. Well, anyway, so this was kind of long and my main reason was to show you all those coffee capsules because it's so interesting. And also, you know, to just explain a little bit about why I get three cups of coffee this morning. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that your new year is happier than the old year has been. And let me tell you something, of course, easy for me to say, although I've been going through trials of my own in, in like the last half of 2021, while we're still alive, there's always some way that we can benefit even from our trials. Now, I don't know, maybe I, I haven't been through severe enough trials, um, but that's my impression from things I've been through and from things other people have told me. I guess the thing is that whatever's going on with you whatever's going on with me, we can't spend time going, I wish this wasn't happening, 
no, I don't want this. I mean, we may need to go through a period of that, but we need to say, all right, this is happening. How can I go through it? And is there any way that maybe I can benefit from it? I mean, where there's life, there's hope, first of all. And second of all, we've got to try to make the best of any situation we're in and be an influence for the positive. Because if we do that for other people, undoubtedly, we'll be doing it for ourselves too. Anyhow, I pray for anybody who's going through a difficult situation and at least, if nothing else in the new year, make a resolution that you keep to be kind. God bless you.